as well. Um, protein supplements, okay, a great way to um, to start your day if you're training in the morning. You know, I advocate something like just simple. You can you can get some uh, glutamine, which is cheap as chips from my protein. It's like 15, uh, 10, 15 quid for a bag that last year forever. You know, it's, it's it lasted our, our house. It lasted about about three months. But taking these proteins before your your morning workout will help that you, your body's in a system like a state where it will build. Whereas having these other uh, sources of protein with your your four or five meals throughout your day means that you're constantly in a growth state. Your muscles can grow. You can deal with stress. Okay, it's vital that you have these at every meal, guys. Okay, it's where you're going to get the biggest um, boost from your protein. So, like I said. Rotate these sources, have a look at them, beans, peas, legumes, okay, you might not be very, I'm not particularly good with like, uh, what they call chickpeas, they make me real bloaty, so I don't really have them, you know, I, I can't have full fat yogurt, it makes me nasal, but, you know, stuff like red meat, um, if I have some uh, chia seeds, if I have some, uh, some sea, like, uh, if I have some almonds, I generally feel amazing after it as well. Okay, so that's your protein, eat with every meal and rotate your sources. Fat, okay. Fat is a great way to get lean, okay. It's been feared for years because of nonsense correlative studies and people just getting a bit worried about heart health when, in fact, fat is like your hormone fuel, okay. See, it is like, and your hormones are the biggest player in how you feel, how happy you feel, and how you go about your day to day life and the decisions you make on food, okay. So, we need to balance not just saturated fat, but we need to look at monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fat. To be honest, like fat isn't just fat. You know, it comes in these three different sources, but that also means that we need to get a balance of those three. So we're trying to get equal amount of these three sources. So your animal fats, okay, your dairy meats, your butter, your cheeses, your coconut oil, your palm oil, okay, your seed oils are pretty good for your saturated fats. Saturated fats help you deal with stress. They help you guys with testosterone. They help with um, with growth hormone. There's a various, there's a cascade of, of positive um, effects from, from having saturated fat. Again, you don't have to have sky high amounts. And if you're not used to eating fat, this will be quite scary. But just go and research, go and read about coconut oil, palm oil, cheeses, like the, the meat fats, the, the fish fats, okay? Oh, sorry, fish fat's more poly, sorry. Um, and what you'll find is that they actually have an abundance of health benefit in, uh, pro uh, what are they called? Prosper, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> um, monounsaturated fat, okay? You're gonna get that in what I like to call your salad fats, okay? You like your almonds, your pumpkin seeds, your olives, your olive oil, your avocados. I generally try and get like, like a, mo a monounsaturated fat salad so i'm putting like pumpkin seeds in my salads my olives in my salads always go with green olives because the way that they ripen black olives is pretty nasty um avocados um almonds you know i always put these on my salads so i always say like modern saturated fat i always like try to look at this like my, my breakfast i have quite a lot of saturated fat because the most stressful time of day can be morning for me so then i have my modern saturated fats with my lunch I have, you know, my avocados, um, my olive oil, on my salads, and in the evening, okay, I have some like, uh, like or mid afternoon, I have some like fish oil. With, I actually take fish oil with every every single meal, um, just a gram. But um, my algae oils, my saffron, my peanuts, I have that before I go to bed. Um, uh, my, my, my peanut butter, I have before bed or almond butter. My flax seeds, my flax oil. I've just had some chia seeds today, and they're, uh, they're awesome. And I have my Brazil nuts before I go to bed because I know that that actually helps increase my testosterone, which is great. And I learned that from Timothy Ferris in the Four Hour Body. Great little, uh, great little book to read as well. So what you're trying to do, guys, with your fat is balance that throughout the day. So you're addressing deficiency, so you're not deficient in any of these fats, and you're also getting the balance so you're well nourished you're not getting any malnutrition if you're deficient in any single one of these fats okay this will cause a, a problem with your body okay and this will lead to fat gain or feeling tired or being ill okay with fat you can have it with every single meal but when you train okay the meal after you train should be low in fat okay if 
if anything, and no, none at all, okay? You're trying to avoid fats after you train because your body wants the protein and it wants the carbohydrate more. So look at those, you know, your meals and think, actually, after a workout, I can actually take the yellows out of my eggs because I want the, the whites, okay, after your workout. Um, if you have an omelette after you've done a workout in the morning at fitness camp, you know, if you have like three eggs in there, maybe take two yellows out and use them at a different time of day on your salad or something, or put them in, or just, you know, chuck them. It's up to you, okay? So the only time of the day that you don't have fat in your meals, okay, is post-workout, whether that's in the morning or whether it's in the evening, okay, guys? Because you, your body wants the carbohydrate more. Finally, okay, the big hitter. This is where people uh, get get a little bit lost, okay? Because there's also all sorts of these... Um, a lot of information about carbohydrates and how much you should have and when you should have it. And believe it or not, carbohydrate is the only macronutrient out of the carbs, fats, and proteins which you can live without. Okay, Atkins proved that. Okay, you don't need, you don't actually need carbohydrates to survive. You do need it. You know, in terms that if you if you did without it, you'd be depressed and you you wouldn't, you wouldn't function as well. But it, it it wouldn't you wouldn't die. Okay, in other words. Whereas if you didn't have fat and you didn't have protein, you'd be on a quick route to the grave, okay? So where are you going to get your carbohydrates from and what time should you have them? This is so appropriate, guys. And, and this is where I see people making the most mistakes. But this don't worry about if you've made the mistakes up until now because watching this, you're going to start correcting them. So exercise recovery drinks. These sh I don't really advocate exercise recovery drinks. I don't really have... Since I've... Um, been training in the years that I've been training I only ever used to take a sort of Lucozade drink when I was doing like two hour sprint sessions where we do maybe some weight training um, mixed with sprints and it last a bit longer uh, I, I, but I don't even use these anymore so I, re I reckon such like your sugary rich uh, drinks even your vegabolic drive like your post workout um, have that after a workout or if you're going for like a long two hour like bike ride Pop it in your um, pop it in your what's it called in your drinks bottle. Vegabolic drive is awesome. Okay, again, like I said before, if you've got any sports drinks or any um, protein drinks, we're not just trying to sell you guys. Okay, we advocate Phil Richards because it, we know the product's clean. Okay, it's got no uh, aspartame in there. It's got no sweeteners. It's got no nasty additives that people put into protein drinks. Okay. If you've got one that you found yourself, run it by your coach and they will literally talk you through it. And if it's great, we're happy for you to use it. Same as Some Warrior Protein. We don't sell it, but it's really good. Have a look at it. Some Warrior uh, Proteins are really clean, but they're really good as well. And also like Nutri as well. Again, we don't sell it, but if you want to take a look on there, brilliant, guys. Okay, We're not we're just trying to sell you. We want to make sure you're having the right stuff. Um, your simple sugars, okay, your... your Literally like stuff like your bananas, okay, uh, your berries, uh, not your berries, like your more your apples and stuff like that. If you're going to have them on your own, they need to be literally straight after exercise if you're trying to build that uh, muscle. If you're trying to look for fat loss, you barely need them, guys, okay. Your body's going to be burning um, your, you know, your blood glucose during a the session. Then it will eat into muscle glycogen post-workout, which is like your stored sugars, okay. That means you're going to be losing body fat because your body will start to look for pathways to um, to, to find fuel. And it will burn the fat, okay? And if you've got protein in your diet in sufficient amounts, it won't burn the muscle, okay? So what we're doing is looking to burn those fat stores. Whole minimally processed starches, like starchy carbohydrates, okay? This is where most people mess up, okay? This, I, I reckon, between these two here, Okay. They have rice when they haven't done it on a, on a non-workout day, or they have a sweet potato on a non-workout day. If you're looking to get fat loss, okay, your sweet potatoes and your rice should be eaten as close to your workout as you can, okay. On your non-workout days, go for this little um, like these bits here, like the, yeah, sorry, these um, your, your fruit and your green veg. So I would go like non-workout days, have loads of spinach, carrots, tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, apples, oranges, avocados and berries, okay? Avocado is more of a fat, but you know. Um, if you can go on like non-workout days, go for your fruits and veg. On your, on your workout days, like your rice, your potatoes, your whole oats, your grains, okay? They are predominantly post-workout, okay? Only. 
And if you get that right, you will see the fat you know, drop off here. You know, I've noticed that when I've timed this really well, first of all, I build, I build muscle faster than most people because I, I time these properly. And when I'm not working out, and the days that I'm not working out, I don't eat too many carbs. Okay, I don't have too much carbohydrate because I don't need it. I eat my fats and I eat my protein and I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay, and that's why you can get lean gains. Guys, if you've got any questions about what I've just talked about and you're interested and you want to sort of quiz me on this stuff, okay, again, remember that um, analogy of the fire, okay, the fuel that you're putting on are your starches, your, sorry, your, uh, your sugars and your carbs are like your rocket fuel, so they're like your sticks and your, your, your paper. Your, your wood is like your, um, your fats, okay, it burns quite well. And then your protein is like your your uh, your coal, okay, guys. So have a look at um have a look at the different um have a look at this presentation. Watch this presentation. Any questions? Pop it down in the comment box below, guys, and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. Cheers.